We're here. We're there. We're, We're everywhere. everywhere. How's about a wild party? Come on in. <laughs> Party, composer Michael John Lacusa kind of wrote the score so that it echoes the vaudeville style of performance in the 1900s to the 1920s. And in the 1920s especially, the vaudeville was very much a social commentary and always trying to like instigate political change. And it's very interesting how he kind of uses the vaudeville as a tool to, to explain social injustices in the 1920s. Um, so, so it's really fun, like it's, it's obviously so fun and colourful and bright and you these big caricatures and I really try to push my actors to give like really over-exaggerated performances to kind of capture kind of like the, the bizarreness of the vaudeville but it's all got this kind of like underlying sinister implication that, you know, there, there are you know, social injustices in the 1920s. <laughs> And it's all your money to me. Burns is pretty emotionally unstable. I mean, he he jumps from one emotion to the other. It, 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 it is one song. He goes through seven different emotional changes. It's very much um, almost the car like it, it jumps from one to the other. It's uh, rather than slow changes. It's more that one minute he's meant he's almost laughing maniacally. Next minute he's threatening to stab someone. He's got this. Um, it is very emotionally dynamic, and it's 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 a great challenge to try and portray that role, trying to get into the idea idea of a character who's so, who's so fragmented personality. He doesn't even know who he is at points. Sometimes he's 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 the act he puts on. He he, he confused. He it basically it was a deconstruction of verse in the story is when he becomes the mask he puts on, and yet as a result, the mask itself is distorted it, and it, it festers in his anger. I think the, the music is really genuinely one of the best parts of the Wild Party and is a major selling point. It, it's amazing and um, the score is so elaborate. The music is not just influenced by jazz but it's, it's kind of real jazz music. Um, it allow, there's opportunities for um, soloists to improvise and things like that and there's scatting in the show as well. So it's definitely worth a watch even if it's just for the music really. Um, so I've choreographed the Wild Party. Um, it's been extremely challenging. The dance is 1920s primarily, but we can't just rely on Charleston thrown in and your classic moves, we have to vary it up. So I've tried to draw on a lot of Fosse technique um, and also black bottom and kind of contemporary moves, um, but then grounded a lot of the foundations of most of the dances in jazz, um, contemporary and ballet as well. <laughs> meeting and we found out that the production team wanted um, loads of like pop-up set and it's been really fun to make those with um, um, really simple kind of cut out ideas and just make them look really good. It's been a lot of hours put in, um, it's been really fun, uh, there's been a lot of designing and sawing and cutting and a lot of thoughts being had to go into as well because of the director's vision um, which is different to anything we've done before. Go to watch a wild party because it's it's pushed boundaries, um, more boundaries than other pre uh, musical theatre shows have done. It's more vocally demanding. The the themes are um, push things more. The acting is um, requires much more of the of, of of cast. Everything is is pushed to uh, to eleven in this. Um, it's it's it, it's it, it, out, out of any of the shows I can conceive of um, seeing the musical theatre, this is the one to see that shows the, um, the, the talent of musical theatre can push to its very, very best. So come join us for a wild party this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at Bloomsbury Theatre. 7.30pm, we'll see you there! <laughs>